Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6. In this uh, edition we're going to get familiar with making our uh, Ubuntu installation connect to network computers that are on our local network. And for this example we're going to connect Ubuntu uh, Linux to a Windows work group. Alrighty, so typically you'll access your network by clicking browse networks. And by default, in, in many instances, uh, the ability to browse a network uh, upon installation is somewhat limited or uh, unfunctional uh, completely. So let's get started and get this uh, installation configured so that we can connect to our, uh, any computers on our work group. So I've got our show notes here. And we're going to begin by installing Samba, which is a uh, server client. And it's going to allow us to connect uh, to various uh, computers on our network. So we're going to pull up our terminal. And we're going to enter this command. And we'll install this by pasting, copying and pasting this command in our terminal. And again, like before, I'll put all these uh, commands in the description beneath the video. So I'm going to paste that. Hit enter. Enter my password. And it's going to download all the required packages. All right, so we've downloaded and installed Samba. And what we need to do next is do some a minor configuration here. So what we'll do is we're going to edit the SMB config file. And that, if you open up your uh, navigation device here, if we go into computer, and look under ETC, and we'll change this to a uh, different view here. We're looking for a folder called Samba. Samba. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit this file, SMB config file. But we need to edit that from a command line or access it uh, from a command line so that we have uh, administrative privileges. So I'm going to copy this command. I'm going to paste that in here. And what that's going to do is it's going to open a text editor and open that SMB config file so that we can make changes to it and then save that. All right, so here's the file that we need. And what we need to do is we need to do a search for the word work group. Okay, and here we have the word work group. In some cases, it will be all uppercase. In uh, other instances, it may be uh, uppercase first letter and then lowercase for the remainder. In any case, you need to change this second area where it says work group equals. You need to change this that's, that I'm highlighting to the work group name of the, the uh, work group that you're connected to. And in my circumstances, it's called work group all uppercase. So I'm going to change that. So that our work group equals work group. I'm going to save it and close it and now it's been updated uh, in our terminal to reflect that change. Alright so we've got another thing to do. We need to enable browsing of shares and what we're going to do is configure the nsswitch.config as root. Okay we're going to make a little change to that so here's a command you'll need to type in your terminal. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste and hit enter. Alright, now we've changed the permissions of that file so that I have access to modify it. Alright, and here's the following command. I'm going to copy that and we're going to paste it and hit enter and have our same text editor as we had before open it. Okay, so here's what we've got. Where you see the hosts colon, it's uh, about 10 lines down. This area right here we need to change that. We need to add one little instance to that. By default, it's going to end in this phrase DNS space MDNS4. We need to change it so that that last portion reads WINS space DNS space MDNS4. So, like you see, I've got it. Previously, yours would look have looked like this minus the wins and we're going to change it so that it says wins okay so make sure that you've got it where it reads wins DNS 
MDNS4. Save that and close it. It will have updated in our terminal now. Okay. So we're going to also uh, do one more thing. And what we're going to do is make sure that we've uh, rebooted. And after we reboot, when we go in to view our, our network, we're going to see that we have full access to all the shares on our network. So I'm going to reboot, and I'll be right back, and we'll pick up where I've left off. Okay, I've rebooted now, and once my desktop is up, we're going to browse our network and see that uh, all of our network shares are available in our work group. All right, so let's browse our network. You can start by double-clicking that. And give it a minute and it'll reach across your network and um, access any work groups that may be sitting out there. All right, so it's found our Windows networks. We see we have a server. This is a computer beside me here, one underneath our TV, and obviously this particular machine that we're connected to now. So we'll expand out our work group, and it's opening all the shares. Out there now, and so I'm going to connect to my server. It's creating a list now of all the shares on the server. And this initial connection is a touch slow, but after you've mounted all your network shares, uh, you'll see them appear over here and uh, they'll be there for the remainder of your session. So let's go into our D drive on our server. All right, so now we've got uh, connectivity to our network drive on our D. So if I were to close this and bring it back up, you'll see that it's right here in my quick list, and I'll be able to uh, move into anything here, and everything's just fine. They'll be here for the remainder of our session. So for those of you who are having difficulty mounting network drives or locating work groups across your network, I hope this helped. We've got episode 7 coming up next, and um, make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. I hope this helped you guys out. Look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.